In recent years, American consumers have become much more conscious of where their food is coming from. More and more people are directing their shopping and dining dollars towards ingredients that are fresh and locally sourced. So you, had, really you, had, well. you had row cover all over this. this was, uh, these were all covered uh, from about the end of December through the end of February. To help local farmers meet the demand, the Virginia Cooperative Extension experts at Virginia State University are researching ways to make a variety of crops easy to grow and sell nearby. One of the most successful efforts to date began three years ago with Nature's Candy the strawberry. We don't let them pick uh, big full trays either because you get a, a 10 pound flat. Right. Then the berries on the bottom get mashed. It's smashed out. And, uh, the strawberries six, uh, total pounds. production is 2.6 billion pounds with a value close to three billion dollars a year. It's a huge industry, extremely important. Tom, have you picked Picked, uh, uh, this, we're on the fourth time. And its popularity is growing in part because of increased understanding of its nutritional benefits. Along with all that flavor, strawberries are packed with health-boosting antioxidants, and each year they are one of the first welcome signs of a long-awaited spring. We've gone through winter time, and they are really excited, looking forward to get out there and, and buy locally grown uh, fresh fruit and strawberry is the first of all the berries and all the fruit that are available. These two little sections are sweet charlies but oh, we're moving into the Chandler variety here. Oh, okay. this is, yeah. As one of America's favorite fruits, strawberries were a natural choice for Virginia State University's ongoing efforts to bring more diverse and profitable crops to local farms. So we uh, obtained um, uh, a grant from uh, Tobacco Commission, Virginia Tobacco Commission and we started promoting uh, berries uh, among uh, Southside County growers. And so we uh, come in about three o'clock in the afternoon when the ground... They began the educating farm. farmers on everything from preparing the soil to marketing the finished product. But you need so much space for a strawberry plant. Tim Miller, owner of Westover Farm in McKinney, was ready. Well, this is our third season, I guess. Basically, they had to teach me everything. We had to start from uh, what we needed to do for uh, soil fertility, what, what was necessary for strawberries, preparing the land. Great looking strawberries you guys are picking today. After thorough instruction on every step of the process, from August preparations to springtime harvest, growers in the program could also call on Dr. Reza Rafi for troubleshooting as their crops progressed. He and, and Chris Mullen have been very helpful. They came out several times to the farm to help us get started and help us understand what we needed to do to get ready. Good morning again. Good morning. Beyond the guidance in growing and harvesting a healthy crop, Dr. Rafi and his staff help growers with the business of marketing their strawberries, getting them into the hands of appreciative consumers. Some of the bigger businesses in Richmond, one of them has about five cafeterias on their complex and I've been, I'll sell them strawberries this year. And then last year, for the first time, I started selling to the Dinwiddie County Schools. And so we'll do some of that as well. Among the satisfied recipients of this strawberry bounty is Elwood Thompson's, a specialty grocery store in Richmond. We like working with, uh, with local uh, farmers because the, the product is, is, is fresher. Um, we like to get to know the farmer. Uh, we feel like that it's part of the, the community of food. Stocking locally grown food from small farms helps Elwood Thompson's give consumers a product they can feel good about. We like working with uh, Virginia State University because they are focused around local farms. Other universities are more focused around bigger uh, corporate farms. And, um, and we feel strongly that uh, there needs to be a balance. One of Elwood Thompson's suppliers is Brown Town Farms in Warfield. Established in 1908, this family farm is run by Herbert Brown Sr. and his son, Herbert Brown Jr. We're a vegetable farming operation. Um, traditionally, we have been a tobacco operation. As the tobacco program faded out, we had to do something with that land. The, the plant look healthy, actually. My son talked to me about um, Virginia State. So I came to a couple of programs they had, and they were telling us the new ways of um, making money off your farm. And so they had a, a strawberry uh, 
section that if you came and um, see how to raise the strawberry with some grants. While seeing them through to their first successful strawberry harvest, Virginia State University helped the Browns establish market connections, including the rewarding relationship with Elwood Thompson's. Um, as we harvest the crops, um, we put them in our cold storage um, facility. Uh, we'll then package those crops. And after we package everything up, um, I would load them in my vehicle and then we would actually take them to the grocery store Edward Thompson. We would get them there and then they would stock them nice and sweet um, on their shelves for customers to purchase. Mr. Brown and his son uh, are very creative, very hardworking individuals and, uh, and they really enjoy uh, the cus customer relationship and dealing with local customers. They take a special pride of growing local, uh, local strawberries and local raspberries and sharing those with uh, local consumers. So all of this that you have are Chandler Bride, you're right? This is Chandler Bride, okay. Herbert Sr. attended Virginia State University and worked there for years before taking over the farm. Virginia State has been a part of my life, all of my life. My son came along, I encouraged him to attend Virginia State and major in agriculture. And I told him, hey, if you major in agriculture, you're going to have a job. Herbert Jr. did exactly that, graduating in 2009 with a degree in agriculture business economics. I learned a lot there at, at the university and I'm continuing to learn through these outreach events that they host. So that's been a critical part of the success of our operation. So it's all local going to... Yeah, I talked to Thompson, well, the one, the produce person, uh, actually he sell the produce, he said sold all, all of them.